How's it going guys? We're going to talk about Forza Motorsport today, as just a few days ago we were given a community update by Turn 10 Studios about the future of Forza Motorsport and basically what we can expect next. We've got some new tracks name dropped, a lot of new features, there's actually lots of interesting things within this blog post that they talk about. So obviously as we usually do we're going to cover the whole thing and see what they are telling us is coming for the future of Forza Motorsport and I have to say it does look quite promising. We're currently with Within update 11, just as a bit of reference as to where we are in the timeline. So, a message to the motorsport community, August 2024. Look for Spectate, Drift, Creative Hub, Share Code and Sunset Peninsula in the coming months. That's just a few things that we're going to talk about in this blog post. So in the first little summary bit here, they kind of remind us what they've given us in the past few months in terms of the new track, the adjustments, the features and stuff like that. And then they say that they recognise that there is a lot more to do. There's a lot more to come. That's basically what this blog post is about. Basically reassuring us there's plenty more they've got in the pipeline for this game in terms of big features and big stuff. They obviously note that they have to still continue to give us the regular monthly generic content while also working on the other priorities that we're screaming for. So that there's a fine balance that they have to do. The first topic is cars and tracks. They recognise that many players in the community prefer to race in featured multiplayer and would like to unlock the cars by racing online. Starting with the next update, which we can presume is update 12 next week, the reward cars for each update can be earned either by completing the featured tour in Korea or by playing a specified number of races in featured multiplayer. So if you're a single player guy, you can still unlock the cars through single player. If you're a multiplayer guy, you will now have the ability to unlock all these new cars through multiplayer. Okay, that's good. We can expect that next week for update 12. Now they mentioned that because of this, in update 12, they will introduce a new challenge hub where you can earn credits, cars, race suits, and other rewards for completing various objectives. Sounds a bit like the festival playlist in Horizon, maybe. Whether you race in career or featured multiplayer or rivals they want to ensure that the challenge hub includes goals and rewards for each type of player so it very much sounds like a festival playlist type style thing that they're going to bring next week for update 12 or the week after whenever it comes out they also recognize that many people would like the opportunity to revisit previous featured tours and unlock their associated reward cars later this year so not update 12 but later on they will add select series and rewards from previous updates as permanent additions to the builders cup and then next year, they'll be introducing a number of permanent race car focused tours to the career. These changes will give you the chance to check out the series that you might not have played before. We've got some new tracks name dropped here. Two additional tracks are coming to Motorsport this year, available for the first time since Forts Motorsport 4, the classic Sunset, Sunset Peninsula returns in update 13. So not the next update, the update after that. That track will have five layouts. The next track which is coming after that in update 15, so that's a good few updates away in December, is Bathurst. Again, they've just name dropped that. Quite simple, Bathurst is coming to Forza Motorsport in December. They do note here that in 2025, they will continue to update Forza Motorsport. And as in 2024, this will include new features, bugs, additional cars and tracks. So I think that's what they're saying here is that in 2025, they will still be adding new tracks to the game. So they're not stopping this year. Next year, they will continue to add tracks and cars. Great to hear. Spectate mode is the first feature that they talk about here. They are currently in the final stages of adding a reworked Spectate to Forza Motorsport and we plan to include this functionality for private multiplayer with the next content update in mid-September. That's update 12 very soon. Spectate mode may very well be coming. Fantastic. They've mentioned that they're trying to basically upgrade the Spectate mode compared to Forza Motorsport, making it much more enjoyable, easier to use and more engaging. And they've also highlighted some of the sort of features and stuff that are going to be within the Spectate mode. Spectate mode is basically like a live replay. So many of the features and options are going to be similar to what you can get over on race replays bit of a list here I'm not going to read through them all um, ticker trap map driver data true race start default spectate camera some new camera options two new camera modes have been added to both spectate mode and race replays rail cam and point of interest improved control panel customizable hood minimized switch lag saving replay after spectate hopefully spectate mode is just as refined as we've always wanted it to be in a force motorsport game sounds like that's coming in the next update update 12 
Drift Mode is the next feature. Another feature that we'll be been eager for in Forza Motorsport is Drift Mode. Our team is extensively working on it and we expect Drift to be available in the coming months. So Drift Mode is not going to be part of Update 12 like the Spectate Mode. Might be a little bit after that, Update 13 maybe. This will be accompanied by a selection of Formula Drift cars added to the showroom. So we can expect a good batch of Formula Drift cars to come whenever that arrives. In drift mode, players can earn drift score based on speed, angle and duration of your drift, as you'd expect from a drift mode. It will be available in free play and private multiplayer. In that update, they will also add drift specific HUD elements that can be enabled in gameplay and HUD settings. Looking ahead, they are also planning to add a drift meetup public lobby to featured multiplayer in the future. So when they bring out this drift mode, it's only going to be in free play and private multiplayer to start with. Later on, they will pump it to public kind of stuff. Creative Hub and Share Codes Later in the year, they will overhaul the Media tab in Forza Motorsport into a Creative Hub, similar to the one in Forza Horizon 5. They basically describe what Creative Hub is on Forza Horizon 5, so if you know what that is, that is going to come to Forza Motorsport later this year. Again, that's not for the next update. There's only a few things from this blog post that are going to be part of next update, update 12. This is not one of them. Finally, they are working on an updated edit tool, edit layer tool for the livery editor. This will change the layer user interface to be more like Forza Horizon 5's. So if you prefer Forza Horizon 5's livery editor, Forza Motorsport is getting that similar thing. They don't specify when that is though. I can presume with the Creative Hub change later in the year. Free play weather options in the next update. So this is another thing for update 12. Additional weather customization options will be added to free play and private multiplayer. These will allow you to vary the race conditions from a range of weather scenarios. You can set the start, mid race and end race weather types. So if you want the weather to change at certain points, you can. We've got all the lists of weathers there. The probability for weather sequences occurring will also be available. So you can make the weather conditions of your race as predictable or as surprising as you desire. Sounds pretty cool. That's, yeah, that's an update 12 feature by the sounds of it. So that's coming quite soon. Community choice in featured multiplayer. We recently revealed that in update 13, featured multiplayer will include a community choice slot with the series decided by community vote on the Forza forums. The community's overall top three will return to featured multiplayer in update 13. Update 13, I will remind you, is October's update. Audio cues for car proximity radar. They're quite happy to see the positive response to the car proximity radar and how it's being used to improve the overall quality of racing. They are planning to add audio cues to to accompany it in a future update. They don't specify which future update, but that is in their plans. They're also looking to address some feedback that we have shared with them since the release of Car Proximity Radar, such as more toggleable backgrounds and gameplay tuning for proximity radar distances. So they're planning on refining that a little bit, add a few little different options to the proximity radar at some point in the future. That is great to hear. They're also telling us about ongoing improvements to the Forza race regulations. They remind us that they have recently increased the internal resources that they have available for Forza race regulations and its machine learning systems. To put it simply, this means that they can make more and more regular changes and adjustments to Forza race regulations to make it more accurate. So in the months ahead, they are going to continue to refine it perfectly. So it is the perfect Forza race regulation. Advanced ghosting in featured multiplayer. In addition to our work on Forza race regulations, we're also developing new features to help improve the overall quality of racing. In a future update, so again, not update 12, we'll introduce a new advanced ghosting system that predicts some of the more most popular griefing incidents in featured multiplayer, including high velocity collisions. The goal of this change will be to improve the quality of racing while ensuring that clean drivers don't feel like they need to rely on the auto ghosting that is enabled when pausing the game. When this feature is ready, it will be enabled in all featured multiplayer events however you can disable it in private multiplayer that sounds quite interesting this blog is absolutely full of feature goodness just what we want to hear they they top it off here with the discord community ama ask me anything we wanted to wrap up this blog by letting you know there is more to come today we briefly touched on the improvements that we're working on for for the race regulations and car ghosting all in an effort to improve the quality of racing. In a few weeks time, our simulation team will be sharing more details on these updates and more in our first ever Ask Me Anything on Forza Discord. 
join the Forza Discord, get participating in that. You won't want to miss it. Until then, let's keep focused on the Suggestions Hub. The Suggestions Hub is the number one place that Forza Motorsport developers go to get our feedback and our help. So why would we not be using it? It definitely looks like there are many good things to come for Forza Motorsport. We've had two tracks announced now. We know that a load of new cars are still coming. We've got Creative Hub, Drift Mode, Spectate Mode, Forza Race Regulation changes. There is a lot of stuff to come. And they do remind us halfway through that blog that it will be just as good into 2025 as well. So Forza Motorsport is here to stay. There's lots of stuff coming and it sounds pretty exciting. So stay tuned for my video next week where we'll discuss update 12 in, in, in its entirety from start to finish, a bit more detailed. We know a few things from this blog. There'll be more that we don't know. We'll know that next week. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.